Hey, this is John, and this is the Ganzo 729 Folding Pocket Knife I recently picked up from Amazon for $21.95. I believe they're on sale right now for $19.95. And before I go on talking about it too much, let's go ahead and get it out of the box, so that way we can see what the knife looks like. Right here we have the Ganzo logo. I'm probably pronouncing that right. Ganzo, Gonza. Not Gonzo. Definitely not Gonzo from the Muppets. Although, maybe. Nothing is impossible. Tools. Nothing is impossible. That is profound. I have no idea what this means. Uh, here on this side of the box, we have Facebook, Instagram, and a website, which is really impressive. A lot of the knives you see on Amazon are pretty cheap. And this one definitely appears to be an homage to another knife, and we'll see that once I open the box. Again, logo, a motto, I guess. Uh, thank you for per thank you for choosing Ganzo knives. Ganto knives can help you deal with all kinds of problems in your wilderness, survival, and daily life. Wow, when you face kinds of outdoors troubles, outdoors troubles. Yep, Ganzo series knives can make you feel more confident. Well, that's good. Applicable traveling, mountaineering, venturing. Oh, I wonder if it's venture brothering. Oh, I'm going to have to flip it around to see what that's... Oh, pedestrianism, pedestrianism, through the forest, collection, defending, warning, sharp blade, handle with care. If you use, keep it fold. Keep away from children, exclamation point. And then here we have barcode, all your general stuff. What's that say? GY folding pocket knife, 440C stainless steel blade, ergonomic G10 anti-slip handle with clip hunting, fishing, carrying, folding, Folder access lock outdoor EDC knife, new item. And there you go, that's all of it. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Now I'm gonna say right now, one of the reasons why I decided to purchase this is because it is very similar to a very popular knife that I have never purchased, but I've been interested in for quite a long time, which is the Spyderco. And this is kind of similar to a Spyderco Minx. I think it's a Minx. But just the general design, blade contour, this is very reminiscent of a Spyderco bird. Now granted, the steel isn't as nice. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. As the Spyderco, it's not as good of a steel, but it's a pretty nice blade. It's got a nice locking action. It's an axis lock, a lot more like a Benchmade opposed to the Spyderco roller bearing lock. But they are G10 handles, they feel nice. What I find really ironic about this is I've always thought about buying a Spyderco, never have, but my favorite knife and the knife I carry every day is a Benchmade knife that had a bit of an issue with Spyderco, or maybe Spyderco had a bit of an issue with it. Regardless of that, I've never bought a Spyderco knife, and they're good knives, and I'd like to spend the money on them, but I can't really afford to. And at $21, if this can give me an idea of what it would be like to buy the more expensive Spider Co., well, it seemed like it'd be worth picking up, especially now that they're $19.95. Let's see what else do we have in the bag or in the box. We have a nice little satin bag that I don't know what you'd use for. Then you have the silica packet. You can put those in your ammo cans. Then you have a well. A blown up picture of one of their knives. I don't believe it's this knife. It's not this knife, but it has a similar lock. So that'll show you how to put it back together. That's kind of cool. Then you have a warranty card. So you have a registration card. Now let's see. All Ganzo tool whoa, all Ganzo tools are produced of high strength alloys and laser sharpened. Wow, we're laser sharpened. That allows to use them in the most extreme conditions and physical stress. Ganzo multifunction tools, multi tools include such items as pliers, knives, flat screwdriver, flat screwdriver, saw, bottle opener, can opener, set of bits. Ganzo tools are indispensable for hiking, camping, and everyday life. Indispensable for everyday life, huh? Well, that's good to know. Here you go if you want to peruse those. Let's see how they describe it here. I won't go into their whole wonderful description that they have on their Amazon listing. I mean, it, it contains such wonderful things as the, the main part of any knife is blade. 
and this case is made of stainless steel 440C with corrosion resistance is favorable, favorably combined with high hardness of metal. I don't need to read the rest of it. We all know how these descriptions go. But I'm going to say right now, given all the rest of the background with the Ganzo knife, I'm kind of impressed compared to a lot of the other cheaper knives and lower end knives I see on Amazon. It is a, it says it's a 440C stainless steel blade, 58 to 60 uh, Rockwell hardness, G10 handle, lanyard hole. The overall length is 8.3 inches, 210 millimeters. Blade length is three and a half inches, 88 millimeters. Closed length is 4.8 inches, 122 millimeters, and the blade thickness is 3.3 millimeters. Weight is 126 grams. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do much for you on the, uh, on the grams, but the blade is roughly an eighth of an inch thick, somewhere in there, uh, maybe slightly thinner, but right in that area. So right off it, Pretty sharp out of the box. I wouldn't actually say it's quite as sharp as some of the cheaper knives you can buy on Amazon, which I'm kind of surprised by. The blade definitely, it's kind of hard to see in the light. There you go, you can kind of see it. Definitely has some, I don't know if that's oil or what that is exactly, but I haven't handled it. Nothing that, it, that wiping it off couldn't fix. So let's see if I can. We'll see if I can cut through some paper, and I will not blame the knife if it doesn't do this well. Oh, that does pretty good. Well, it did pretty good there. It does pretty good. Yeah, it does pretty good. So out of the box, it is pretty sharp. Maybe not sharp enough to shave, but it's pretty sharp. And as I've done with other knives, we'll go ahead and see how well it can cut. Oop. Speaking of other knives, we'll see how well it can cut through our nylon lifting strap. Now this is, I can't remember if it's a 10 or 15,000 pound lifting strap. So it's, it's hard to cut. Well, I won't say it's hard to cut, but it's a consistent material that is not easy for every knife to cut. So go ahead and put a big glare on our timer. Let's see if we can move it somewhere where there isn't quite so much glare. Or maybe maybe that's the answer. That looks like the answer. Right there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put 30 seconds on our clock and see how well the Ganzo does on his first pass. Although, really should have probably put it where my other hand can reach it. Okay, and Maybe. There we go. Now, I have cut through this all the way with some of my other knives, and I do try to keep a consistent pressure, just so you know, in under 30 seconds. So, if I can make it through this in under 30, wow, it really feels like it's getting harder. Oh, it's not quite all the way through. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all the way through. Definitely felt uh, a little more difficult towards the end there. Let's see how well I can cut this paper now. I don't need this side anymore. Oh yeah. Well, it's still pretty good. I would say it does feel like it's dragging a little bit. And one of the things that this strap came from my work, I work in the steel industry, so this has got a lot of steel dust impregnated into it. So if a knife is going to get dulled from cutting through something like this, this will dull it. So didn't really seem to dull it too much. That's a good sign. Seemed to cut through pretty easily. I didn't necessarily like the ergonomics of the handle for it, but not really made for cutting through this sort of thing. But overall, so far, just taking it out of the box, having not used it, not carried it, anything like that, for $21.95 or definitely $19.95, I think this is a great value. And if you're looking to get into a knife that's in a Spyderco style or bird style, 
then I would say this is a good place to start. Now, again, I don't own any Spyderco knives, but I do really like their knives. One of my favorite things that I own is the Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker. These things are great. So maybe in the future, I'll have to pick myself up Spyderco and see how it actually compares to this. I'll definitely be comparing it to a Spyderco soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.